Quest 3 is finally here. Let's jump into it. Let's have a quick look at what you get in the box and have a look at my first impressions and a quick review of the Quest 3 from Meta. As you can see, I am totally in love with this headset. Um, did it blow me away? No. Is it impressive? Definitely. Is it an upgrade from a Quest 2? Without question. Is it an upgrade from a Quest Pro? For sure. Is it a mind-blowing upgrade? No. Uh, let's get into the details, but first, let's unbox it. Okay, Quest 3, as you know, is available in two models. We have the 128 gig version and the 512 gig version. If you are here in Canada, it is much harder to find the 512 gig version. This actually is a 128 gig version that I have been loaned by Best Buy. Um, and uh, because I've ordered a 512 gig version or uh, 512 gig version, and I'm waiting for it to uh, arrive. The packaging, as you saw in the uh, the teardown of the uh, what's in the box part of this video, is uh, much smaller, much sleeker. Um, it definitely be able to use this as a travel uh, case if you wanted to travel with your headset. Do you need a reason to buy a Bobo uh, bag or a you know a Kiwi travel cases for the headsets? I don't think so. Uh, this is small enough to fit in a suitcase. It might not fit with the. Um, uh, different types of head straps that you can get like bobo straps and stuff then you might have to explore looking for a new case if you did decide to go away from the jock strap and as we went over earlier inside the box you do get a charging cable which i think is ridiculously short you get a charging brick which is 18 watts it's a lower wattage brick than the quest pro but a higher wattage brick than the quest 2 uh, so I do expect it to charge faster than the Quest 2, but not quite as fast as the Pro. You also, of course, get your two controllers left and right with lanyards that are detachable. So to get the lanyard off, if you don't want the lanyard, push the button in, take off the battery, and it pops out just like the Quest 2 controller lanyard. You can just slide them back into the little uh, slot that they have for them, back on the battery compartment, and uh, you've got your lanyard installed. As you may have noticed, um, I have a red VR cover um, cover <laughs> on mine. Uh, it has a little bit of extra padding. It is washable, easily removable. They come in two different colors. You can get them in gray and in red. Um, and I do believe the package comes with two. There'll be links down in the description if you wanted to pick up a couple and support the channel. Again, these are from VR cover. And yes, these were sent to me by VR cover. And I truly appreciate it because they are super comfortable. And like I say, gray ones or red ones. Uh, so some features and visual specs. We all know that it is full color pass through. I am using the full color pass through right now um, so I can see all of my environment. I'm actually inside the app called Immerse uh, so I can see my computer screen and my camera and I can see my desk because it has passed through and I can see my script on, on my monitor which is completely legible unlike it is with the Quest Pro or the Quest 2. Uh, this is going to be a game changer for me for working in VR. I'm so pumped to be able to put this on my head in the morning and uh, get shit done. The high resolution LCD panels, because they're pancake lenses, makes a huge difference. Uh, there is no more uh, um, blurriness around the outside of the um, lens. The lens's sweet spot is massive inside the headset. so. It doesn't matter where you kind of have it on. There's really no blurry spot unless you're at the very edges of the, of the screens. Um, they, they absolutely look fantastic. They are very much reminiscent of the Quest Pro lenses. If you are coming from a Quest 2, uh, it is a major upgrade and uh, well worth the extra money. Uh, with the new optical stack and these high resolution pancake lenses, of course, the screen door effect is gone. Uh, when you have bright white lights, 
because they're not Fresnel lenses, you don't get the, the little lines all the way around the lenses like you do with the Pimax headset or with an Index or with the Quest 2 or the Quest 1. Like there's tons of headsets that use those pancake or those uh, Fresnel lenses. Because they've now gone to pancake lenses, it is a crystal clear view the entire time. It's fantastic. The headset, of course, comes with the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor from Qualcomm. Um, it has eight gigs of RAM for a smoother performance and better performance, and it is quite noticeable when launching applications and navigating through the menus, even downloading g games. You know, obviously that's heavily based on the speed of your internet, but I noticed things were installing really fast and everything has been just very quick and very responsive. There are some games that are already patched for this new processor and this new you know, amount of memory that we get to play with. Um, one of those examples, of course, is Red Matter 2. Um, it's got the Quest 3 update already, and it looks absolutely amazing. It looked great with the Quest Pro update, and now with the Quest 3 update, it's even better. And of course, it is a standalone headset, but because it does have the USB port, which I have a battery plugged into right now, um, you can use this to tether to a PC to use Steam VR games, or you can use AirLink and unplug this and uh, have a wireless PC VR experience with almost no latency. So even though it is 40% thinner than the Quest 2, and I would say that thinner is much more noticeable with the face gasket off, uh, it is very much a thinner headset. It is a heavier headset. Um, but they have kind of compensated that with this new uh, Y-shaped jock strap head strap. Uh, when I first put this on in my t in my unboxing video and uh, when I did my little first playthrough, uh, I was actually impressed. It is comfortable. But after wearing it for a few hours at a time, it starts to pull the hair out of the back of my head. The I get a rash on the front of my face because it's pushed into my head so much. I don't know, it's just not a Bobo head strap. It, it's a better jock strap than the original Quest 2 head strap. I'll give them that. It is more comfortable than that one. But it is not a very comfortable headset or a head strap. You are going to want to replace this. So far, the upgrades that we've seen available are head straps. You can get uh, Elite straps and Halo straps. There are also companies that have made adapters so you can adapt your Quest 2 accessories to the Quest 3. Um, and of course, there are some facial interface covers and gaskets, um, like the VR cover one that I've got here installed. Um, but I'm sure over the next couple months, we're gonna see the market flooded with new accessories from grips to maybe grip extenders to make the, the controllers a little bit longer, um, different types of straps, battery accessories. I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing what comes out for accessories for the Quest 3. Controller improvements over the Quest 2 are obviously noticeable because there is no ring around the Quest 3 controller. The Quest 2 controller, of course, has the LED um, light ring around the outside where the uh, infrared LEDs are located. This is what helps the headset track the controller. Uh, with the Quest 3, they are built inside of the, the, the top hop the top part of the controller itself so there is no more needed of the ring which is going to help with occlusion and uh, you know playing first person shooter games where you can get the controllers nice and close to each other without having to worry about banging in the rings to each other they, they remind me of the quest pro controllers they do not feel quite as pro um they are comfortable to hold they're a little bit small even in my hand you can see here that it doesn't quite cover my whole palm um, I do, I am used to having the giant Kiwi controllers, which I really enjoy. So I'm hoping Kiwi comes out with something like this for these new controllers. Um, but the, the benefit over these, over the pro controllers, I would say is battery life. Uh, we're now back to a regular AA battery that is easily swappable, rechargeable. Um, like you could put these into a recharger 
um, have two or three of them on the go kind of thing. And then if your battery gets low, you just swap them out. With the Quest Pro, the only thing you can do is take the headset off, plug in your controllers to charge them, and you're done playing until the controllers are charged. Very frustrating. Of course, with content, um, the initial big push for Meta right now is going to be mixed reality stuff. The pass-through on the headset is amazing. Uh, there are some optimized games, things like Bulletstorm is coming out, Asgard Wrath 2 is coming out next month. They're going to be more tailored and uh, more optimized for the Quest 3. Even Assassin's Creed comes out in a month or so. Uh, that's going to be absolutely amazing. And there's, I think, 69 mixed reality titles right now that are available through... Uh, the Meta Store and through App Lab, and I'll put a link down in uh, the description to an XR Update article that lists all of the games that are available for Mixed Reality, as well as links to the store where you can download and try them yourself. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the Quest 3. Is it everything you thought it was going to be? It's pretty much everything I thought it was going to be. Did it blow my mind? I don't think so. Is it a big step up from the Quest 2? Without a doubt. Is it game changing? Not really. The pass through isn't perfect. And I think if that was better, then it would be a better experience. If you've never experienced color pass through before, it's gonna blow your mind. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and stay tuned to the channel because we're gonna do a more deep dive into the Quest 3, have a bunch of game reviews, hit some mixed reality titles, and who knows, we might have some giveaways coming up in the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching everybody.